Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're talking about Windows 10 Cloud. Um, so this is something that kind of leaked yesterday. There was a build of it that leaked. This is an unannounced version of Windows. References to it started appearing in 15.019 and Mary Jo Foley got the scoop that it's basically a Windows 10 version of Windows RT. And it just runs store apps. That's it. So again, unannounced version of Windows, anything that you see here is subject to change in the future when, especially remember, Microsoft hasn't told us anything about it. So first I want to go to Evernote. These are all apps that I've downloaded from the store. So the app you're trying to run isn't designed for this version of Windows. If you ever use Windows RT, you are familiar with this message and it brings back not so fond memories. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's a Project Centennial app. Project Centennial is the desktop apps that have been converted to the Windows Store. So those are not working yet. What I found surprising is that Windows 8 apps actually do work. Um, we kind of, we had heard, uh, UWP apps from the store. So obviously it, that just kind of means, um, it, it means apps from the store, right? It's the, it doesn't have to be UWP. Um, so another thing is side loading. Cause if you, if you follow windows, by the way, Oh, before we go into side loading, there is no OneDrive integration here. I've installed this on a few PCs and there's just no OneDrive integration. So I have to keep saying this, it's subject to change. I would assume right now that they want you to use the OneDrive UWP app that you can get from the store. By the way, if you notice that store logo is a little different than the ones that you're seeing in um, in current Insider Preview builds. The shapes are a little wider. Um, so yeah, for something called Windows 10 Cloud, it's a little it's a little strange that it wouldn't have OneDrive integration. Even Windows RT 8.1 had that that OneDrive integration. Now this is a message that just kind of pops up from time to time. The app you're trying to run isn't designed for this version of Windows. There is no app that I'm trying to run. Pre presumably that's just because it's an insider preview build. It's a bug. Um, so I downloaded these uh, interop unlock tools or whatever it's called because um, it this was an app that was released to, to show off the Project Neon uh, that's a new design language that's coming to Windows 10, and you need 15019 to run it. So, first of all, you can't run the PowerShell script. You can see run with PowerShell. The app you're trying to run it isn't designed for this version of Windows. So, if we try to run the AppX, though, it will ask us if we want to install it, and then it's going to tell me I don't have a good certificate or something, but whatever. Um, at least it's not telling me that this app isn't designed for that version of Windows. But by the way, I did try. We can try installing the certificate as well, and it it won't make a difference. So let's just do that. It says the import was successful, like it always does. And then we're gonna install the AppX, and it's still gonna tell me I don't have the certificate. So if we um. If we go into settings here, we can see that all the settings are pretty much the same. This is more or less um, Windows 10 for PCs build 15.025. I There's very, very, very little about this that that's not in the, the main PC build. You can see it's in developer mode. Um, like I said, if you've heard of, of Tim Sweeney, if you follow... Microsoft news. This is the guy who says that that Windows 10's goal is to crush Steam, and they want to kill Win32 apps so they could force everybody to buy apps from the store. It's all a little bit conspiratorial and hyperbolic, but Microsoft always responded by saying that, well, UWP is an open platform. You can buy UWP apps from wherever you want. You don't have to get them from the store. That's why you can sideload them. Steam can sell. UWP apps if they want, but that's why sideloading is kind of an important thing to this because they can't be doing things that are contradictory to the things that they've been saying. Uh, so Cortana works. Um, everything kind of works, but except running Win32 apps. Um, edge extensions work. 
that was something I was curious about because one of the things lost in Windows RT with making everyone use store apps or special apps for for ARM is was a lot of extensibility wasn't wasn't there. Remember Microsoft had that that full screen version of Internet Explorer and they also had the desktop version and it was this really weird thing and it was because they hadn't added all those features to the full screen version because full screen was going to be the future. By the way, every time I open Edge, I get like five new tabs and I just can't get them to go away. <laughs> so I, that, that's probably a bug with the build. But yeah, you can see that Amazon Assistant is, is here. Um, we can see that that eBooks are here as well, which is something I think we got in 15019. And I... That was one thing I found interesting about this is that, as I keep saying, it's a leaked, unannounced version of Windows 10, but clearly it's been developed right alongside the the other builds because it has all, all the all the latest features that we've been getting for PCs. So Mary Jo speculates that this would be available alongside the creator's update. At this stage in the development cycle, that seems likely. It seems possible. It just seems very odd for for being unannounced. This seems like something they would announce at build to me. And if if they announced it at build, presumably it would be available around uh, the time of Window uh, Redstone three, which would be the next feature update after the creators update coming later this year. But just looking at it, creators update seems very likely. But I just don't see how they do that, how they just say, hey, we got this new version of Windows and um, there's going to be hardware running it uh, next week. <laughs> it's It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. A lot of this doesn't make sense to me, mainly because they've tried this. Every time they've tried saying you have to get these apps from the store, it hasn't worked out. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's, um, that's Windows 10 Cloud and that's what we have for now. I'm Rich from Neo and have a great night.